बैरी हमें नलतर लेक्स के रास्ते में मिला था सत्तर साल की उम्र में एक मुल्क से दूसरे मुल्क जाना वो भी किसी ऐसे ऑफ रोड ट्रिप के लिए जो उसने पहले कभी नहीं किया वेन यूर अलोन यू स्टॉट वर्ग यू मे बी गॉट थ्रू वन ऑब्स्टिकल जब हम राइडर्स में से एक राइडर गिरा तो उसी जगह पर बैरी भी गिरा हुआ था हर जो स्टोरी दैट यू फेल अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स ही वाज ऑलमोस्ट रेडी टू गो बैक होम वेल आई एम जस्ट बिगिनिंग टू बाइक सो आई केप्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस इवन ड्यूरिंग द ट्रिप आई लिव इन थाईलैंड एंड वी जस्ट यूज स्कूटर्स बट वी सजेस्टेड हिम के उसे हमारे साथ चलना चाहिए और हम उसका ख्याल रखेंगे यू आर द थर्ड ऑफ योर ग्रुप हु इज काइंडली ऑफर्ड टू मी एंड आई गिव हिम द ऑफर एज़ वेल दैट शोस हाउ काइंड All of you are. क्योंकि बहरहाल मुझे ये थोड़ा सा एहसास जरूर था कि इतनी दूर से ट्रैवल करके आने वाला इतनी कॉस्ट लगा के एनर्जी लगा के अगर किसी जगह की रियल मीट तक ही ना पहुंच पाए विच वॉज एक्चुअली नलतर लेक्स तो फिर तमाम चीजों का क्या फायदा <laughs> so, हम उसे साथ लेकर चले बैरी और हमारा सफर नलतर की पहली लेक जिसका नाम सतरंगी लेक था वहाँ तक रहा उससे आगे वैसे भी सफर बहुत मुश्किल था और बारिश भी शुरू हो गई थी तो उसने सोचा कि उसे वहीं रुकना चाहिए जब मैं लेक के करीब जा रहा था तो इतफाकन बैरी भी वहाँ बैठा हुआ था मैं क्यूरियस था कि वो ऐसे मकाम पर आकर क्या सोचता है क्योंकि एक मुसलमान तो ऐसे मकाम पर आकर इस खूबसूरती को पैदा करने वाले के बारे में सोचता है सो आई वेंट अप टू हिम और सोचा कि ये चेक करना चाहिए कि वो क्या सोच रहा है Yes. Barry, let me ask you a crucial question. <laughs> <laughs> I I I want a genuine answer. So when you come to such places, yes, after seeing the beauty, what do you think about? How do you feel basically? Well, it takes me back to inside to my heart and it makes you think, you know, who made me? Who gave me all this? Who made this? And right. It's very humbling and yeah. and special and make me very emotional. Yeah, yeah, really. This is the same feeling I I also feel. You know, I I want to actually share these feelings with somebody, you know. When you come to such places, you try to realize that who created all of this. Yes. And the one who has created all of this so beautifully, how beautiful he would be himself. The creator of beauty itself. Yes. You But know, it's a miracle. It's a miracle because we all come from the big bang yeah. when there was nothing and supposedly as far as science knows there was a big explosion out yeah. of nothing <laughs> and all the stardust drifted for you know many 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 eons of time and then solidified into a planet into a tree and into me and into you and why how you know and it takes you back to yourself again and i don't know i'm not religious in in the sense that someone is sitting there up behind the sky watching the show um but i do feel connected we we as muslims believe that uh there's one god named allah yes who actually did that big bang because if there's a big explosion you know it's actually randomness so a design cannot come out of randomness so we see a design in in the nature even within ourselves it's a big system inside you know it cannot be for example this camera it's a, it's a design product it cannot be produced without a designer of so there has not. to be somebody behind it you know well, let's not talk about who exactly is the designer but we at least should come to this realization that there has to be a designer well there are laws of nature yeah. there are, you know and everything follows those laws so who gave us those laws yeah this is a big uh, question we need to this. sincerely yes. ask ourselves yes. and we should not be stubborn about it you know we should not we should be very very sincere because you know whoever is sincere about these questions they always find the truth i hope so yeah yeah we we've got so many people from different countries and you know who have reverted actually 
who have uh, who have realized this. Yes. Yes, that it's, it makes complete sense. It's, it's logical. Yes. You know, it's scientific as well at the same time. Yes. But there has to be somebody behind the design, because if you throw a lot of rocks and a lot of um, dirt and other stuff into into a pool, you don't expect a camera or a designed car to come out. Of it. The um we slightly diverge conceivably in as far as you say somebody must have done and I would think somebody is a word but I don't think of it as a body I don't think of Allah or, or God in any form the Buddha or anything as a, a body I think of it as a process and I'm part of that process and it's unknowable, it's unimaginable, it's, you know, it's beyond our senses. Uh, we, we are here with the senses we've been given, our mouth and our ears and our eyes and our smell. That's the only senses we're aware of, but there's probably a lot of other parts of reality maybe most of reality which our senses can't see and absorb Absolutely. because we have no sense you know um, so yeah it's a mystery it's a mystery I don't, don't profess to have any answers I don't ultimately expect to have any answers but I am assured that in my own sense of being that I come from all of this and I go back to all of this mm. I totally respect your right to have an opinion, you know. Yeah, I totally respect that. Um, we as Muslims believe, uh, we have a book called Quran. Yes, of course. Yeah? Which was revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, um, that book, if you go through it, it's a miracle. Have you, have you re yes, read, read have the Quran? Yes, I have actually read the Quran. Since, um, since we, we are at a very, very mesmerizing place, so I just wanted to share with you that I really feel so content right now, you know. I exactly know and believe who created all of this. And I know his uh, traits, his qualities. I have written the Quran and Ahadith and how he has talked to me in the Quran, how he has loved me. So when I see these things, I say, Subhanallah, you know, which means that Allah is, Allah is the one, he is pure without any mistakes. And we see the beauty and, and perfection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in His creation. Yes. You know, it's a very humbling experience as you said, uh, but it connects me to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ultimately. And that's a very good experience. You're lucky that uh, Allah lives inside you and I can see He does. <laughs> I, I think for coming from a Western background of education and so on, that, uh, that I do not have that ultimate faith. I think mm. one has to believe. And, you know, it's like you saying, or your, your father saying, you have to believe you can swim, jump in the water. Mm. And me, I'm mean, still a little child in many ways, <laughs> and I, I don't have the ultimate faith. Mm. And, and I really um, pray for you. And I appreciate that, yeah, I do, I yeah, promise really, you. Really. So, good to see that we have many common um, feelings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure we can talk a lot on this. We know. can, yeah, I've we spent can. a lot of time yeah. pondering these things. Great, great. There's an organization called AIRA. Uh -huh. I-E-R-A. If at any time, at any point in your life, you want to do more yes. research, Yes, they are so really they're well trained. They are in Thailand as well. They have in their team really educated academic people. So Chacha Ji, I spent a lot of time spent kiye, aur, uh, main se baat karna cha raha tha. You know, it's always good to talk to people, especially. Subhanallah, it can also happen that on the day of the day, some people come and complain to you about it. This person got me and he didn't reach your day to your day. So yeah. Uh, I was trying to actually tell him something about Islam or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ke baare mein batana or ye batana ke Allah ta'ala ki creation kitni achhi hai wagaira wagaira so it was an opportunity aur main dua karta hu ke Allah ta'ala inka seena khol de Islam ke liye Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala par belief ke liye you know I mean